Hi, I'm Cheryl, and today we're going to be replacing a bake element in a Maytag range. You may need to replace one of your bake elements if one of your ovens is not heating to the proper temperature when set to bake. This repair should only take about 20-25 minutes. For this repair, we're only going to need two tools, a quarter inch nut driver, and a flat head screwdriver. If you don't already have a new bake element, they are available for purchase on our website. Before repairing any appliance, always make sure it is completely disconnected from its power source. We will be working in the back of the range, so once you have access to that, we are looking to remove the lower back panel. Uh, we'll start by removing the trim in between the top back panel and the lower one. We have quarter inch nuts, so take your quarter inch nut driver to remove these. Careful of the sharp edges. And then we can remove the remaining bolts around the bottom and edges. Now we can remove the back panel. Just tip it back and lift it up. You may have to wiggle it loose a little bit, but then set it to the side. In order to access the bottom bake element, we are going to need to get some things out of the way in order to reach it. So we'll start up here. Now we have access to the bottom bake element. There are two wires connected to it. We'll start by disconnecting those. If you need to use a flathead screwdriver to help pry these off, you can. And there are three quarter inch nuts that hold it in place. We'll remove those. Okay. Now we can pull straight out on the element. and it'll come out. And there's your old element. You can insert your new element the same way you took out your old one. Line it up. Push straight in. Get the wires out of the way. Make sure those holes line up. And you can reinsert those mounting screws. Reconnect the wiring. Push them on all the way. And now we can reassemble the other parts of the stove. We'll start on the right. Reposition the assembly on the left. This metal piece here should slide into the slots on the back. And if all the holes are lined up, we can start rescrewing in those screws. We'll start on the bottom. And the screws at the top.
you can reposition the bottom cardboard. Line up those holes. Use the gold screws. And finally, this piece, the cut end goes at the top to accommodate for the wires. And now we can replace the back panel. We'll start by lining up the bottom section and lining up those holes. Make sure not to pinch any wires. Line up the top holes. And then finally replace the trim. That wasn't too hard, right? Here's a quick recap. All of our OEM parts and tools are available for purchase on our website. Check them out and let us know what you think on these social media sites.